Hello guys, welcome back to another drawing episode. All right, uh, <laughs> let's get started. I'm just going to give some random thoughts, stuff that I, uh, anything that comes to my head. If you hate the sound of my voice, my recommendation would be just to turn off the sound, put it on mute, listen to some music or something. I'm going to try doing this commentary anyway, partly for you. If you're interested in things that I think about, the things that go through my head when I make sketches, and also for me to help me um, get better at public speaking. <laughs> If you call this public speaking, I don't know, speaking in my room into a mic. So this video is one of my weekly sketching sessions, and this is basically where I, it's like a brainstorm mind map thing but instead of words it's with images so I sketch down some quick images of things that I've read about or seen and um, photography surfing about on the internet and stuff like that and then they give me ideas later on and it gives me a more diverse range of things to sketch from because I don't want to be confined to sketching uh, certain things I do kind of go through these quite fast um, all of these ideas I have gained reading through some National Geographics um, I'm not uh, advertising National Geographic or anything but I do find that they're great for getting ideas like these visual ideas because their photography is always like some of the best in the world in my opinion and so before doing one of these sketching sessions I read through half a dozen well I don't read through them I just look at the pictures mostly and then sometimes read a few articles uh, from a whole bunch of National Geographics because uh, I have massive piles of them and they're always really good. So some of the advantages of this is that your ideas are always slightly rooted in realism because it's photojournalism so it really exists, these things really exist but you can take which parts of it you like and adapt parts of it and just take one idea say oh yeah I like uh, I like the look of that and then take that as a foundation and use it for your inspiration and build on it and that's what I'm doing here and it's working really well because okay so the some of the images might not be great because I haven't spent a lot of time on them but at least they're slightly original they're more original than the generic stuff that I normally am guilty of making and so this second picture that I'm sketching out is of a kind of submarine thing and uh, like a submarine design and it's got this big grabby claw which it can use to pick up underwater loot or whatever yeah the <laughs> the guy inside has been drawn really really hastily so he looks terrible but I think I uh, yeah I go and amend him after a few attempts and I realize oh that guy looks rubbish so I fix him up a little bit because <laughs> he looks really stupid and I keep just adding stuff to it If I took more time with it, I could probably add a lot more stuff to it. But I decided to move on to another sketch while I had uh, ideas in my mind. And I'm using two-point perspective. And that gives it a really nice look to the shapes. And it's, it's fairly easy to do for geometric shapes like this because this submarine is kind of made up of these, uh, these geometric shapes like cubes and cylinders and stuff like that but if it was like more organic shapes then I wouldn't recommend using the two points perspective but it it's nice for this and then anything else I kind of deviate away from it like with the human I'm not paying attention to perspective really but for everything else I am so anyway moving on to the next drawing I'm starting a face here I guess portrait I think this one was inspired by an article in a National Geographic, like an old one. I think it was like 1995, but I saw this model and I was like, wow. And so I just kind of took that idea and rolled with it. Didn't work out very well, but at least I guess I made a face. <laughs> Yay me. And the face is something I still struggle with, but with this I just kind of fiddled around with it. and. Eventually it turned out okay, but I find the more I fiddle around with faces that it looks um, 
it starts to look better it starts to take shape but it, at the same time you kind of lose the flow and I'm all about the flow or like um, the gesture and stuff and, and th with these they look kind of rigid after playing about with them for too long so I guess it looks more accurate that way and uh, I just need to I just need more practice with faces that's practice makes perfect practice and studies I need to do more studies of noses and everything pretty much yeah I'm just not happy with where I am with faces right now I'm practicing a three quarters point of view here because I find that's my weakest one out of the main kind of options you get with uh, drawing faces so I find I'm better at doing front view and side view faces as opposed to three quarter faces because it's less clear where you put stuff in a three quarters view face um, and like the neck position and stuff like that. I have this awful habit of drawing necks that are too long yeah, and I don't see it until someone gives me feedback. With this one, I think the neck's all right. I don't know, I always need to ask someone else's opinion because the stuff I struggle with is the stuff that I can't see with my eyes. It's like invisible to me, the mistakes. That's why going online and getting feedback is always really helpful. So I'm trying to get better at editing. Uh, but it's quite difficult for me right now because I'm trying to get used to the software because I'm not really an editor. Uh, animators generally don't need to edit because uh, it's kind of an ongoing process as we make animation. You, like, you don't have to make any cuts in animation at all. So, yeah, it's a new thing I'm trying. And uh, I tried to, I've tried to use Adobe Premiere but I had a few problems with it, like a few errors, which I just couldn't uh, solve. So <laughs> I'm actually using Windows Movie Maker right now. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's, it's, a very, uh, it's a very simple program. So simple program for simple minds like mine. Um, it's working okay right now, but there's loads of restrictions in what I can do, like with the audio and stuff. I can't make any changes to my audio in Windows Movie Maker and I can't add multiple sound layers in Windows Movie Maker I have to like make an audacity file with all of the sound 100% mixed with music and everything in the same file and then bring that into Movie Maker um, and that's really annoying if you need to make any small changes or anything so I think the best solution for me is to actually learn Premiere get over the errors that I did so I'm getting used to Critter, and that's what I'm making all these sketches in nowadays. Um, and I downloaded some new brush packs and stuff, and they're working really well actually. Except for that, well, the same problem in Photoshop is happening in Critter, which is, um, you know, on the more complex brushes and tools, the program starts working really, really slow again. Um, and that really slows down the process of sketching, and it's really annoying, so... Sometimes I just get really fed up with my computer and I end up just sketching on paper. Like that sketch is just pointless, but I figured it looked cool as a shape, so I kept it in. And this one is, uh, this one's probably one of my favourites from the ones that I did. I think it turned out quite well. It's just really simple. Um, I was looking in the National Geographic and I saw this article about, I think it was in San Francisco or something, these people called uh, they call themselves mud people and they like dress in like mud and stuff and rags and with sticks I didn't really read the full article but there was a few pictures from there that I really liked of them just kind of on the street corners with sticks and stuff and they looked really interesting so I decided to draw one not completely accurate to the thing I just drew it from memory but yeah it left an impression on me because I went on to draw it and I was quite happy with it um, it looks kind of weird and I liked the pose and everything and so I th thought that the glasses and everything kind of looked quite steampunk I guess <laughs> I don't know <laughs> in my head um, so I kind of modified them and 
exaggerated them to look a little bit more steampunk and changed what he was doing surgery on to like a robot or something. Um, so it just made it more interesting. I only got the idea because of the photo. Once I changed the idea behind the photo, it's my idea now. I've just used that um, piece as like a starting spark for it. And I was going to go on to inking these lines. I did for one or two of the figures, but then I thought I'll leave that for another day. So right now I've just got the rough sketches and I don't know if I'll finish the inking lines. I'm not sure if there's any point if it's a rough sketch. I guess not really. So yeah, I might continue this one for another episode, but more likely I'll make another episode where I start again clean and I go through the whole process again with some more photos. And every week I upload these onto my Tumblr, um, Facebook and Twitter. So if you want to see the results every week and not have to watch these long episodes of speed sketching then yeah just follow me on one of them and you get to see all the stuff I make and thank you for watching I bring out a video every week and yeah go to my website if you are interested in what I make goodbye